Okay, okay, okay. We have things to do. We need to do it fast. We only have limited amount of time. So today is going to be a rush, rush episode. Rush, 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 rush. Hello, hello, and happy Friday. You're watching this on Saturday, depending where in the world you are. But uh, welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And today, I think, what the hell did I do here? Uh, right, I'm demolishing the pub, the pub. Actually, this can be demolished already. Um, let me let, let them drink the alcohol first, then I'm going to demolish it. Because I have a pub that is actually in walking distance from the garbage stand, the Central Asian country, or garbage stand. So, we gonna re be removing this, and I'm gonna be thinking a bit more about, you know, waste and stuff, where I'm placing buildings relative to the uh, containers and stuff, and yeah, I'm gonna talk about the containers a little bit, but Rush, let's address the Rush issue first. The Rush, there was also a town called Rush in uh, Ireland, close to Dublin, just north of Dublin, but anyway, just called the Rush, and that's it. Right, so, farm. We need to finish farm, it's 18th of January. We are building it. There's a lot of materials that need to be delivered. I prioritize this. Some other buildings as well, but I prioritize this. We need 45 tons of steel for this stage and 511 work days to finish it. Uh, what is happening? We have Škoda with 13 tons of steel. We have Škoda with 13 tons of steel. Steel does 26 tons. And then we have Škoda going to get 2% of steel. Seriously? And the last one is going to be 100% of steel, so that's going to be hopefully enough. Um, this is going to be 19 tons Yelch. Oh, big, big, big Yelch. Um, big, big boy Yelch is going to bring 19 tons of steel. Yeah, so everything is going extremely smoothly. We're up 3 million. I don't know if I can uh, quickly show that, you know, cheating. Oh, loan. So we have one loan. It's uh, going to expire in half a year. Uh, we have the that, that's long long I didn't take any loans so I'm, I'm just planning building and expanding and stuff I think I'm slightly above the population capacity uh, so a lot of a lot of residential buildings need to be built and I think I'm gonna have to go for resort to wild not really I'm gonna have to see what's happening with the footpaths because footpaths are working like crazy and I'm not kidding they're working like crazy and uh, we're still uh, we're not building them fast enough uh, what I'm gonna do now is plan a couple of buildings that I can start building now 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 um, I'm gonna be let's see if any of these guys can be footpath footpath are you delivering stuff is delivering I wanted to I wanted to... Oh. Okay. So this can be prioritized. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Uh, this is going to take a little bit longer to build, but it can be prioritized. So where are you, Scooby-Doo? I think this is Scooby-Doo. This is Scooby-Doo. And prioritize this because this is... I don't think this is going to be done that fast because it has stages. Stages are always a problem because different stages they require... Oh, by the way, these finished tenement buildings, they actually have stages where the uh, mechanization actually helps you. Uh, that being said... Nothing else. I have only seven people living, 12 people living with their parents. That is unfortunate and we need to address this. But I had significant drop of the orphans. Uh, that's not orphans. That's a police station. Orphanages. So we have a lot of, a lot of capacity for orphans, which is, I think they obviously tweaked this. I'm thinking about removing uh, one orphanage and uh, probably putting it in a different town. I don't know if it makes any difference, but, uh, you know, just to alleviate some pressure from old Galask. And uh, the farm, 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 we'll be building, building a farm and Uliki's favorite beverage, that would be a brew. Yeah, coffee is a brew as well, but in this case it's going to be brewery. Uh, it's a Robses one, it does consume a lot of crops, uh, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, way more than the, this is 8,000 ton capacity, the silo, same as every other that we make. Uh, usually how I calculate silo capacity, it needs to be... It is being filled for a third of the year, or is it... Yeah, I think it's being filled by 
for a third of the year and by the end of that it needs to be 100% full. So that means that technically it can hold 12,000 tons of crops. How can a 12,000 tons of crops um, be uh, fitted in the uh, 8,000 ton silo? Well, you consume it while it's being fitted in. So, so this brewery needs to be consuming. And this brewery is definitely going to put it to the test because this uh, Robs's brewery, it's a smaller one, consumes 51 tons of crops. If you multiply this by 365, uh, that would be a 15,000, 18,000. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, calculation. That would be 51 times 365. That would be 18,650. <clears throat> so 18,000 tons, which uh, I'm pretty sure that many of you are freaking mathematical geniuses, unlike Uliki, and it would be better to put like 12,000 ton silo. But 12,000 ton silo, or we have ten and a half thousand, I think is the biggest one, or uh, I'm just gonna double check here. The biggest one, vanilla now, vanilla. I know some people were ec ecstatic when I was making the, uh, this is the bigger cell, when I was making vanilla work, you know, with a, uh, with um, road cargo stations and four silos connected to each other and this kind of stuff, but I am not that person anymore. I like my vanilla, so 11,000 tons, this vanilla small one is just a joke. So, uh, big vanilla uh, storages, 11,200 tons of crops is... Probably would be better, but we're not gonna go for that, we, because we're almost done with this one. Uh, we only need the working hours to do, do it, and that's it. But farm is again something that we are focusing on, this is our priority, and we need to get this up and running uh 845 dates to finish it uh stealing or, or the steel steel structure is being constructed so these pillars and the construction of the tractor sheds and i'm pretty sure well not concrete that's done these uh, little silos that they have here that's probably just internal silos no these are internal silos probably the big ones here and uh, there's some silos over here, but they're very small. They're like 100-something tons. These are the big, big big boys, bad boys for life. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have brewery. We have time to build this. Uh, this is not a rush, so they can slowly deliver materials. We're going to finish it when we have time. Infrastructure is in place or should be in place. You can see here groundwork uh, being done on the substation. Substation is connected. We have the water substation. Water substation is connected, uh, electricity here, water here, and sewage here. Heating is not needed, so this should work. Uh, anything else I would like to do here? Well, we can actually finish this one. Uh, the road here, I was upgrading this to street lights. Um, let's see what else do we have. You do have unfinished. All oh, right, uh, higher priority. Perfect. It's already vehicle coming there, um, so delivering the last uh, materials needed. But uh, as you can see here, but yeah. And this one is plumbing. Plumbing is in last stages of construction. This is going to be done shortly as well. Yada yada yada. All that good stuff. So three million rubles. We can even start replacing the vehicles these days. But I'm still kind of on the fence with automatic re uh, vehicle replacement because, uh, yeah, uh, automatic. What? Well, all right. Yeah. Keep it off because uh, I still need to upgrade some of the vehicles. I, I can upgrade them here, for example. I can choose the ooh, USA. USA, USA. Uh, yeah, like tracks. Maybe, maybe this is something we can play with as well. For example, uh, concrete mixers, of course, workshop items, total capacity. Nah, Peterbilt. I should probably have more of these, but uh, eh. We can have these Yelch, 13 tons, 13 tons, 87, 85 kilometers per hour. They're the same. It's in the same, but um, JE300 and JE317. <sighs> or, or do we go for Vanillas? Mark P. Mark P is Peterbilt. And they're actually... Okay, this one is a little bit bigger. 66. I don't know. Um, for now, I'm going to leave it alone. Um... 
Zeal concrete mixers 12 tons. That's nice as well. Yeah, Zeal is another series of vehicles that is really interesting for me because they have a lot of different uh, vehicles that you can... Uh, like you add a lot of add-ons that you have on the basic model. So you buy the blueprint and then add-ons are actually much cheaper when you're constructing or building your own vehicles. But that's not something we're going to do now. So I'm thinking about do we replace, do we set this as a replacement? By the way, that's a long job. I I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Do we unify all the vehicles to be the same? And some of them actually, I already started the reshuffling. I started taking some vehicles away from here and placing them in the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, placing them in the other construction office. So large farm here is being built by bus four. Barstock warehouse. This is where the beer is going to be stored. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna help with these guys. Uh, let's go bus. No, no, no. Let's go with brewery because brewery is almost done as well. Brewery can be done by bus three because this is not a. There's no rush in building brewery, so big one can build it and take your time. Five-story apartments. Uh, this is good as well. Uh, this is not being built. Okay, perfect. Let's go like this. Ten locals can work and then assign... Let's assign the bus a two from this construction office. And I just noticed that there's at least three... Uh, there's at least three... Ooh, repair. 54%. Uh, ooh, we're importing alcohol. That's gonna stop soon. Uh, anyway, so we are finishing the other, well, not really soon, it's going to take almost a year to start producing our own alcohol. Well, technically six months, but uh, depending if how fast we are with the construction and all. I'm still worried about this. I mean, uh, I probably should put another construction vehicle here with a local workforce working on constructing it. But I have no free cranes, so there's no point in pushing this. Yeah, anyway, so this is the rush that we're going to have in this episode. Uh, tu, tu, tu. Tu, tu, tu. Uh. So, uh, the this is the rush that we have. Let me just check. This is the rush that we have in this episode. This is what we're going to be rushing for. And uh, you can see that connections are done. Uh, infrastructure is not even close. Um, the problem I have is also auto search because this auto search for this uh, dumper area ca caught a lot of pipelines from the uh, from the oil field, which is fine. It needs to be constructed anyway. But um, the, and also they are not uh, building anything new. But that is the point of it, they're not building anything new when, and they're supposed to be. So let me go and force uh, assign some of these constructions. You can see here that the switch needs to be done over here. This needs to be done. This ne I'm, I need to re-click on all of this, on a lot of these, just because like dumper truck is not ready, this one is not ready, that one is not ready. Just because there's so many uh, little cogs in the machine that need to work on this. Yeah, uh, residential buildings, I'll avoid them. Well, there's no, I cannot avoid them because um, they cannot be assigned because uh, there's no footpaths connecting out to them. And that's another thing. <clears throat> Here's another... Where the hell did people go? Did we finish a residential building or something? Maybe we did. Let's, uh, let's see the capacity. Tarum, 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 tarum. No, is happiness falling or something? Three kilometers. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, whatever. Okay, did something happen? I don't see. Everything is zero as far. Oh, 58. What the hell? What the hell happened here? Ah, okay. I'm not allowing citizens to move in here. Why am I not allowing citizens to move in here? I totally forgot. Doesn't matter. Uh, does it really matter? I don't know. Doesn't seem to matter. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really care. Uh, I'm not allowing citizens to move in here. That is the order of things. Uh, I'll remember why I did this before. Uh, was it to do to the waste here? Connectivity or something? It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Um, there's also no people living with their parents, which is also surprising. Where the hell did they go? 
Like, uh, obviously, okay, the older people died, younger people moved in, makes perfect sense. But let's see, it's 31st of January, let's go this year. Uh, this year population burst 222, deaths 130, 16 escapes. Maybe they escaped. It would be interesting because uh, no immigrants. You can see here that they didn't immigrate anybody from outside. You can see like in last three years. Let's see. Uh, in last year, we usually have three times more birds. Okay. Let's talk about birds. This is something that I don't know, and I'm expecting you guys to know because Leaky is like you know always failing uh, to remember these things, and also uh, you guys are better than me. But so, when you decrease the birth rates, when you decrease the birth rates here, increase and decrease the birth rates, does it go like one step behind? Like let's say we're decreasing the birth rates, which I did two times, maybe three times. Does it temporarily decrease the average birth rates until this um, this is in action, until this research is in action? Or is it permanently decreasing the birth rates? And then when you actually increase it, you're just dialing it up a bit, which if you decrease it three times, do you have to increase it three times to be at the previous birth rates? So does it work like a faucet when you spin it in one direction, it actually stays there? Or is it like a temporary egg timer that uh, sets back the uh, decreases the birth rates until the egg timer takes out and then goes back to normal. So what, what is your opinion? Do uh, increase and increase birth rates, is that a permanent feature that then you have to, um, that then you have to uh, dial up if you want or dial down if you want to reverse the effects of it or you just wait for until, uh, you know, effects of it expired and then you can, <coughs> you can do with it whatever you want. Uh, yeah, comment section, please help the brother out. Next thing, I removed the technical university. We have a new technical university. Vostok is the uh, capital city of technical innovation nowadays. I think it's the same university. And I think I will have to increase the capacity. Uh, let's do it like this. I want more people. I, I need the more educated people. Uh, college is... Ooh, 13%. Do we need more? I don't know. Uh, now I don't know anymore because like a 13% we had 11, I believe. So that means it's increasing. I don't want to dial it up too much. Stop production. Again, pause. Will it say why it stopped production? No, I think it could be due to electricity. Again, the electricity... Ooh, pause... Okay, where are you getting electricity from? Here. Is it that there's too many connected buildings and then at night they actually have too much of a drain? Yeah, that's good. No, no, oh, pause. No, this is not too much of a drain. You can see here how much draining. 1.1, 1 1.3. 1 Come on, go more. 1.3. No, it has 2.35, uh, so it can double that, so, yeah, it doesn't seem like, uh, and it's not even swinging that much. I don't know, I think it experiences spike for some reason. I think it experiences, oh, do, 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 do. these cables, stop, pause for a cause, these cables, these nuts. Um, these cables are different. They're 1.5, and they're in the, uh, if these are at 1.3, that means they're close to the maximum capacity. So these numbers here, they forget about them. They're gibberish. This is this is what three division. Just I don't even know who made this mathematical calculations there, but you know, I'm just gonna repeat these numbers here. Percentage of the buildings connected to this substation have nothing to do with how much electricity you can provide. It's the maximum capacity of the substation. Now, the problem is this substation can ever, 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 ever be supplied with two and a half megawatt hours of power because there's no cables that can carry that. Only medium voltage cables you have. The biggest ones are three and a half. The biggest underground is 1.45, not three and a half, uh, sorry, uh, 2.35. And the underground is 1.45. So 
um, you can only supply like 80%, 90% of the power that is uh, shown here. So this percentage number is the biggest toilet paper ever made. It's useless. It's just useless. <clears throat> you can use it as a toilet paper because it's not good for anything else. Now, the other problem is that the solution to this would be if you connected the cables of 1.45 megawatts that we did right now, sorry, 1.5 megawatts that we did right now, that it shows these capacities comparable to the cables going to the substation rather than some useless number that doesn't mean anything. And also these gauges, they wouldn't be two and a half megawatt gauges, they would be 1.5 megawatt gauges depending on how what cables go there. But I think that's a too much of a problem for our developers to actually do something about. So let's not let's not bother our pretty little heads with these complex issues, and let's just enjoy and praise the development of this game, Overlords. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Last stage of the farm construction is upon us. All rejoice. Uh, the problem is, um, which actually we're gonna f uh, focus on in this episode is that the materials are being delivered. You see this farm here? Materials of this farm are being delivered from here. All the way here, and then here, and then over this overpass, over this overpass, and uh, 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 here. They have to go all the way here and then be loaded. Look how much uh, less traffic we have because we have this, uh, this intersection. They're gonna pile up a couple of uh, uh, trucks here, but soon enough we're gonna phase this out actually we're gonna reduce the need for mods ah no sorry sorry negate the needs for mods uh sorry sorry negate the needs for uh stuff to be loaded here because my next project would be these uh road cargo stations over here so we're gonna have the we can name this uh, uh we can have food uh, this is going to be definitely construction materials. Um, this is construction math. Construction, that's construction mathematics. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the other one is going to be food. Let's just name it food, but it's going to be food. Okay, let's go food. It's going to be stuff like, you know, meat and, and previously mentioned food. Uh, but it's going to be... Uh, actually yeah 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 we're just gonna have this for our uh peasants or sorry people we're gonna have this for our people and what are we going to do is gonna give them like we need food clothing and the electronics here nothing else the rest of it is gonna be here and this one is gonna be open hull and cover sorry open storage and cover storage open storage we said that we really like this one here but it's a little bit on a big side it is a good barrier between the city and that area, area, barrier area. But unfortunately, we are still out of excavators. Wow, we're building a lot. Didn't we buy a third exca excavator here? One, two, three. Seriously. Okay, fine. Whatever. We're going to be uh, building the smaller storages, which are going to be <coughs> use more useful anyway. Uh, so let's go for storages. We're going to have cold storages. I'll go for bigger meat storage. That would be another adult name that Licky would have if he was in the business. But unfortunately, got rejected. All jokes aside, of course. Uh, and then we have food. I, I think I can do for an, uh, like, tea the sucker. Like this. And then T the soccer in this direction. And seriously. Well, uh, this is not bad. This is not a bad way to go. We build this and then we can have, uh, just to be nice, we can go with gravel roads. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Here we go, that's it, and then here we can have... We still have some uh, some space here if we need a smaller storage, but uh, we can build it this way. 
Yada, yada, yada. There we go. Go, go, go. Storm the front. And the second storage, again, it's gonna be open one. That's perfect. And then we can go for cover hull because we're gonna need electrical components, like a lot of this industrial stuff. We, we, we can decide. We can decide as we go. But uh, we can place a decently sized storage here. Uh... No, actually, this side can have smaller storage. This is too big as well. Yeah, so probably the same ones we have over there. But again, this is fine. I will wait for this to be constructed first before we start constructing more. Uh, this is one, and unfortunately, open storage is impossible. Oh, okay, fine. Foot, path. No, no, no. Let's go with bus one. <coughs> And it uh, doesn't matter, it can be higher priority, but uh, they need to deliver gravel first. Dumpers need to be assigned to this. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, will we be finishing farm in this episode? Come on, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where are you? Oh, well, they're here. They are here. Uh, they're delivering this, and we... Oh, they already have people here. Perfect. So we just need to deliver more workers. Well, materials need to be delivered as well. You can see that we're missing a lot of uh, snow plows. Actually, we're not missing. There's like four of them. Two of the best ones ever. And the two of decent ones ever. Uh, and everybody's out and about. Everybody's doing stuff. That's interesting. Are we, are we getting full of waste? Because I can totally see all my waste trucks just buzzing around. I think it's just one of those days um, that uh, all of them at the same time were cold because some of the containers were full because a lot of them are not full. Yeah, okay, okay. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, pump jacks. We can work on these. Do we have capacity? Let's see. Uh, bus number one, go away, you are busy, you are unfinished road, this is gonna be done soon, so two, three, and four. Two, three, and four have capacity, pump jacks, I need to uh, knock these out of the park as soon as possible anyway, so let's go two, pump jack, uh, pipeline is not delivered, those only the ones with all materials delivered, I'm gonna focus on those, because I think we're gonna have a lot of them, unfinished pipeline. Unfinished pipeline. Warstock sewage. Uh, this is good enough. Bus 3. Warstock sewage. Because I need to increase priority of this. I know that sewage is needed. This is going to be bus 3 as well. Uh, because they can start working on this one right now. And then pumping station. This is bus 4 definitely. Because we need to increase priority of this. Uh, to get these materials delivered. And then bus 4 has another gas station that we can start working on the, uh, on the right now bus four uh yeah i think i think this is gonna be okay and that would uh, take a huge chunk out of the uh work that we are performing right now okay people living with their parents 29 of them are actually living with their parents that means that well that's a lot but still we are constructing this look at this the crane is working on this one as well i'll get 10 locals to work to speed the things up and then we will have the last stage which is going to be five tons of prefab panels some steel a lot of boards and uh, a lot of electrical components that's probably furniture elevators and stuff <coughs> to be to be done uh, these are the ones that i'm actually looking into because these are not being uh, built fast enough, in my opinion. And I was thinking of connecting them with mud roads so they can start working on a building like ASAP. So something like this. Just so they can start working on the residential buildings. And we can, just because I would like to build more uh, residential buildings for our people. I think this one as well. Where are you guys going? Like, this is just sewage. There's nothing else there. Okay, it looks like the world went to shit. Uh, because there's nothing here. This is just the sewage pipe. Seriously? 
Oh my god. Why are they going there? It's just sewage connection. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't know that people worked there, but looks like people work there. Farm, farm, farm. Can we please finish the farm so we can at least say that we did something in this game? And do we have any free buses? No free buses. No free buses. Anything else? Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, I don't think anything else needs to be done here. We just need to finish this. Okay, I'm gonna call it a failure. I'm gonna call it a failure because I expected to finish the farm in this episode. Obviously, all the materials are delivered and obviously all the bosses are on the way. And I'm gonna shut up now. 30 people, uh, we're gonna need to deliver them twice in order to uh, build this. So yeah, it would take another 5, 6, 7, 8 minutes to finish this farm. But it's gonna be done before the farming season. We need to get the tractors. Sewing season. We need to get the tractors. I didn't even... Oh, uh, I didn't put the uh, liquid fertilizer and stuff here. So we need to deal with this as well. So yeah, Uliki has stuff to do. I'm gonna upgrade the farm as soon as possible. And I'm calling it. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, if you did press the like button, if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section, let me know your thoughts, uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it, and if you want to support the channel, I have the description of the video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, bye bye.